Hi, thank you for stopping by. I'm Julia. Today I have for you a few items that I want to play around in. They are all Dior products, mostly I should say. Um, there may be a few that I have to uh, use that aren't Dior. But I really wanted to just have fun with these products and try them out some. I have had a couple of items, like I said, from Dior for a while. and. I just didn't know how to best to use them and so I want to play around with them now that I have a few more products and implement them into a look for today. Now I may not get it right but I just want to play in it and see. So I'm going to start off with the um, Dior Addicts. It's their lip maximizer and I just have a sample in it. You need to use it anyhow so that's the first item and it feels yummy on my lips. Now, if you missed the uh, Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, whoa, it was, wasn't the best sale, so don't feel like you missed out on much. But uh, the more I took a look at things, the more I found things that I was interested in getting. I did go to Nordstrom on the last day of the sale, and that's where I got into a little more trouble. But So let's get ready with uh, what I have here. I think the first thing I should do is kind of like prime my face because I don't have eyebrows, eyebrows on or anything on. So the thing I picked up, this little set, is the Capture Total Dream Skin from Dior. The ring light is showing in there. But this was an exclusive set sold at the Nordstrom sale and it has the primer in it. And the primer retails for a pretty penny, but when you bought this little set, it came with a lovely denim like makeup bag with the CD on it and it has a cute little silver zipper and pull. The primer is here and you got a couple of other things to try so I think you got this for a few dollars less than what you would pay for just the primer alone so that was good. So here it is is the Dream Skin Care and Perfect and it is the um, age-defying skin care. It is supposed to smooth out your skin, help reduce fine lines and pore size the more you use it. Um, so it uh, is really, I think, a better product for skin that's oily or um, combination. And then, oh, it smells lovely. Nice scent. And you also got the Dream Skin Mask here. And this is the Capture Total Super Potent Serum. So, I already have a serum on. Let me just pull that off. I'll squirt a little on the back of my hand. Don't want to waste anything. And that's what it looks like, a little white dot. And rub that in. Right in here. Nice, pleasant scent. Not overly strong, not strong at all actually, just pleasant. Feels good. And by the way, my skin is going through some changes here. Um, I'm in the midst of changing skin care because I was using um, the skin care line from The Ordinary. I had to think for a minute. And I experienced some issues coming off of that product. But this feels very lightweight and the scent it's very soft and nice so that is a nice little serum there go into using this uh, primer that is supposed to be really good for the skin and uh, helping with the pores and giving you visibly smoother look and tighter pores and this is what the bottle looks like and my cap pulls off just want to put some in my hand it takes a second or two to come up here it is, and let's get busy putting this on my face. Just want to get it in the main areas here. Same nice scent, kind of like a soft, very soft rose scent as the other product. So very nice, and it leaves the face feeling very smooth and soft. Yeah feels nice. I did try that in the, um, at the counter rather, and, um, on my hand, and I liked it. 
Okay, so nice so far. Nothing to complain about. And next, I'm going to work on my brows and put on a little eye primer and I'll be right back. I'm going to go in and do a little more here. So, I am going to use what I picked up from Nordstrom is the Forever Skin by Dior. It's the 24 hour wear radiant perfection skin caring foundation with sunscreen of SPF 35. So I have this in 6N which is neutral and this is what it looks like in the bottle. I was really concerned because I thought that it was um, too dark for me because I was thinking that it was going to oxidize and look quite bad but actually it's good. So I'm going to go in with my Jane Iredell uh, little brushes here and uh, just dot this along my face. And this is what it looks like going on. And it says to start where you have the most discolorations or areas that you want to conceal. And that would be around my mouth, right in here where I have that acne and that kind of like that veil that comes here on your forehead. And then right here around my nose as well. And here. So we're going to start with this amount and just rub this all in. So I don't know that um, I needed to have another foundation. I know I don't didn't need another foundation, but I was intrigued by Dior and uh, Tom Ford. But I chose to right now purchase this one and by Dior and uh, maybe I will purchase a Tom Ford foundation somewhere. But I want to see what's coming down the pipe for um, fall. So I want to uh, slow my roll down. I don't buy everything that's new and everything that's out there. I kind of like to pick and choose and see what best fits into my uh, collection or makeup. So this foundation has been out a while so it's not new but it's new to me. And uh, I'm getting a light coverage. I think it is a medium coverage but I seem to be getting a light. I guess it could be considered medium but I still see all of my imperfections in here and there. I'm going to go over it with a little more. And the reason why I ended up with the primer is because I was going to take this foundation back and exchange it for a lighter shade and come to find out it's my shade. I didn't try it at home because I didn't want to open it up and use it just with the pandemic going on when I felt it wasn't my shade. So, But when I got there and she pulled out foundations that she thought suited me, this is the exact one she went for without even knowing that that's the one I have. I'm going to turn on my fan so you will hear more noise. My air conditioner is on but I need a little more coolness. So this is one area I do not have a concealer from Dior so I'm going to use my YSL and I think I want to use the one in 6.5 but the foundation feels very nice on the skin. It feels natural. It doesn't feel like it's um, heavy or anything like that. So I'm happy with that so far. I think I want to go in with a sponge. Yeah, I'm going to go in with my sponge, but it isn't um, wet. But I'll just go in with it as it is. I'm putting that in. And I might pick up a um, Dior concealer. Just see how it goes. You know, you kind of want to use up what you have, but then you also want to see how other products work and how they work together. Especially, you know, when they're from the same line. Okay, so I think this is pretty good for me. Good coverage here. Bring it down my neck some. Yeah. It's all kind of butterflies flying around outside. 
on our butterfly bush. Okay, so that's the concealer in everything. Yep. The next item is going to be a little um, contour. It's actually a bronzer by Dior, but I'm using it as a contour. It's the Forever Natural Bronze, and I have it in shade 08 Deep, which you've seen before. This is not new to me. Well, it's recently new, but I uh, did pick it up. So let's use um, an angled brush, maybe, and a powder little brush by Jane Iredale. So I'm picking it up on my brush. I'm going to go in here and around here just places where I want to recede and this is a very light kind of like, kind of like a barely there bronzer that I'm using as a contour it's not going to give you a intensified looking contour it's just going to lightly recede those areas And I am trying to build it up a little bit. Next I have, which is new to me, this is the new packaging similar to this one, the bronzer, but it's a little shiny patent leather, which this one is matte and it's got that pillowy feel to it. But this is the luminizer and I have it in Rosewood Glow. I only, I started off getting two and then I decided just to go for one so I'm going to go in with one of my um, IT Cosmetic brushes swirl that around in this beautiful color oh it's gorgeous there it is on the brush and I'm just going to take it right in here yeah I see that what attracted me to this is that it is supposed to give you a lit from within glow. Can you see that there? I see it. Oh yeah, I like that. Put a little here, a little there, a little there. But I'm liking that. Rosewood. Pretty. Oh, this is so pretty and mm, soft and finely milled that you don't want to stop. <laughs> I don't want to stop. Okay, next let's play around with some eye products that I have had in my collection for a little while. This one is in Spirit. It's number 897. Let me take the packaging. This is what Spirit looks like. I have tried to use this before on my channel and just didn't feel like I got any payoff from the colors. I don't think I'm going in with it today. I need to play around with it some more. And then this is the blush I have. And this blush is in, it is in 643 Stand Out. Now, it probably isn't the right color for me to use right now, but I'm going to just put it on anyway. It's quite saturated, so you can see it. Ooh, see that there? Yeah, nice. Gives a little tint to the skin, a little warmth to the skin. Yes, I like this blush a lot. That's why I didn't feel a need to buy the newest line of uh, blushes from Dior. I think that this is enough. I don't need to. I am tempted to get another palette by them, but I want to be extra careful because I feel like I was burned uh, with this Spirit palette. But before I purchased Spirit, I got Feel, and this is number 797, a few used before and that's what this is looking like and this is the one we're going to go into today I'm going to just swatch it on my hand so you can see what it's like and the colors are more I think for fall but they work in winter but they work um, well I think so I'm excited um, just to use this palette 
Some of the colors are quite deep. I think if I pick up another Dior palette, it'll be somewhere between that light one there and this one. It won't be too deep, it won't be too light is what I'm going for. So I'm going to take this shade here, which is translates to this one here, kind of a berry color, and I'm going to get a brush to go all over my eyes with it. And I think I'm going to go into these little um, Cusack brushes that I have here. I think that's, no, no, I'm going to use um, the It Cosmetic brush. of the foundation the sales lady gave me a little gift from Dior and it is their eye cream which is in the cutest little package it is supposed to help with fine lines and puffiness there you have it here I didn't use it today because I have on Clarence eye cream and she also gifted me in this little bag a lipstick from Dior and it is in number 999, it's called Velvet. I don't know if it's a good color with this. I mean, the blush is there, but let's see what this is looking like. It's really quite red looking. Ooh, gotta be careful. That's what 999 Velvet is like. 
And I also have a lippy that I've had in my collection. It's the only Christian Dior lippy I have, and it is in something Diablo, 785 Rouge and Diablo, I believe. It was a collection one year. This is what it looks like. It's more of a berry. That's what I tend to buy when I buy lipsticks. So I think I'm going to go with the sample one. But before we do, let's look at what I purchased from Dior itself online. This is the box that came out, and you get an envelope, and in it, it's just your receipt and your ex uh, return uh, information if you like to uh, return it. And I'm going to take the ribbon off. Oops, that would be me dropping it. Nice gold ribbon and nice gold font that says Dior. And inside, here's the packaging tissue paper with a little card. And I wrote myself a note, and I don't remember what I wrote. I adore you. <laughs> I Dior you, <laughs> is what I wrote. <laughs> so that I wrote to myself. Gotta love yourself. <laughs> So that we can love others as I've been told. So this is the tissue paper. It has this little closure on it and so I'm going to open up ever so gently as I can. Oh and look it's only one item but they filled it with a lot of uh, cut paper and here is the item that I purchased. One item and then you got to pick a couple of gifts samples and I picked two. One is Jador, and I used to own this, but this may be a more modern uh, take on Dior, Jador. And the other one is Miss Dior, little perfume sample in both. So we'll try that, and I love the little pouch. It says Dior. Now let's get into this. This is the cushion powder, and I got it in deep. So we're going to powder up before I put on, um, and it's in the mat, it's in the thicker container than the other two. So I have one patent leather container and then I have two matte containers. I This is what started it all for me, picking up a, the foundation and whatever because I was excited about this. This is what you get a mirror and then you get a powder puff. And then you open this up, go off this tab, and here is your powder. And it has a mesh container there for lining. I'm going to pick up a powder brush. You can see my desk. I'm going to use the one from It Cosmetic, and I'm just going to pounce it on here gently. Yeah, it's going everywhere. And just kind of, ooh. And you know what? I'm not feeling oily or the oil is not breaking through. This foundation is nice. It doesn't feel heavy. This has a nice light feminine scent. Feminine scent. And here's what it looks like on there. Oh, I love this feel. It's light as well. Now let's get into the lippy and we can be finished. It's almost like it's barely there. And maybe the other shade would have went nicer with this. Let's take the hair ribbon. Yeah, but I have to have some brightness to the face because the eyeshadow is not that bright. So, And I want to go back in with that <sighs> luminizer. Just can't get enough of that. It is gorgeous. Ooh. Get that brush and go back in with that luminizer a little bit. Uh, my hair is sticking to the lipstick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right in here. Guys, I love that. Very finely milled. It's 
just perfect. Let me bring you out. Guys, this is so me. I am loving this. It is an age appropriate, appropriate look for a woman over 60, I feel. Nothing too crazy, just a natural looking um, glow to the face, just enough. The foundation is marvelous, simply marvelous. And that glow you get here, oh, I was afraid of the foundation being too shiny or something, but I love it. I actually love it. It's supposed to be 24 hour wear, but um, yeah, I'm not quite sure if I'll get that from it. I know I won't today because I'll be taking it off after this video unless I want to wear it to cook. But um, yes, I am liking the products and, and I think it's gorgeous. I think it's a perfect, um, builds up a perfect face for um, day to day or going out, whatever you choose. But guys that glow right in here ah, perfect without it being large particles anything oh it's just gorgeous I think that um, I'm gonna get rid of all those other illum luminizers that I have because I don't need them this is it for me and um, if I find that I don't necessarily want to use a rose tint they have about three or four other shades. So I will go back in and get one more for Dior. Alrighty, thank you for joining me. I'm so glad that um, I did this little get ready with me with the Dior, <laughs> Dior products that I picked up from Nordstrom and from the boutique Dior itself. I had it sent to me. But um, yeah, I'm liking this. I don't think I need a blush from Dior any more blushes unless I went in with a little rosy one, but this one is fine. If I pick up another lippy, I'll pick up a blush to go with it. And then I want to pick up one more palette and then another luminizer. And I think, um, maybe mascara. And then I think I'll be done. But I am liking the look I got. Yeah. Thank you for watching, and I hope that uh, you see something here you like. Oh, we forgot the perfume. Guys, you didn't remind me. Should it be Jador, which I am familiar with, or should it be Miss Dior? Let's try Miss Dior, because I'm feeling kind of missy. Mm. I wonder if it's kind of a rosy scent or whatever. This is a rose scent, so it goes along with the um, makeup, with that little rose scent there. Mm. Can't smell it yet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nice soft rose, though. Rose scent, and I think it's very similar to what the other products smell like. Very nice. So it's a continuation. Yes, the same. This must be their signature scent. Very nice, very feminine, very soft. And it doesn't sting your nose or anything. Alrighty, guys, thank you for tuning in to Accessorize Your Life. I hope that um, the products I showed you uh, you find something that you like, tell me which one was your favorite. The luminizer, the bronzer, the um, finishing powder, the powder I use here, or was it the eyeshadow or the lippy? Yep. Let me know down in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.